for material, you can have, for example, here my grid, and I want to assign the grid material. I want to assign the plane. The plane is basic material uh, if I can assign. Here I have the matte palette, and in the matte palette I can choose, for example, more kind of uh, our material, okay? Or, for example, with the contest of matte, is the material contest is the new material contest you can find inside me from uh, I don't remember where is the version but uh, you can find this or the shop uh, we can go in the material and in material we can use the principal shader the principal shader it's the principal uh, shader you can use it for rendering here you can find more information on surface and on opacity, texturing, bump and normals, displays, and also have the setting here. But here I have the base color, and also is more important. For example, I can assign with drag and drop. It's very fast to assign. Now we can also see what is another way. For example, I can assign that. That color. Here I have, for example, use point color. Use point color in this case is not working. Why and what is it? Use point color is take the color you can apply, for example, on this sphere. On this sphere, we apply here, we have the color soap. The color soap, if I apply, for example, the material, and there is another way for create and apply material. Now the basic way is go up, and from this tab in rendering, I have a material. And here, if I click, I can open, for example, the material contest. I have the principal shader. Also, I can find the list also in another material. For example, I can come back here. I can create another principal shader. And I can call this principal shader, it's my sphere. And I want to assign, for example, the red color. Okay, I can come back in my object level and from my sphere here I find now my sphere and associate my sphere, I accept and I see what's happened. Now it's become black. If I render now, we can see also with the render region, it's become black. Okay, now we can see also what is uh, setting my here, my elements. My elements is more uh, we have the reflectivity. It's one you can say to zero, but it's black. It's black because have here my use point color is active. If uh, I uncheck this, I see my color is become red. What is do that? Is take the color from the sub color you can have in the object level. So from here. Take this color and mix it with the color of material you have, and the result it's another kind of color. For example, if I have the the red and I mix with the blue, I have the green green material. And this is uh, more important to, to uncheck. For example, every time your material uh, here you use point color or you don't use your point color. Sometimes. Uh, is inevitable because uh, you maybe you use the color for uh, create for example the mask for your uh, uh, scatter effects or for example you use the color for uh, pass the attribute to another geometry okay this is uh, another aspect we can see in our course but uh, however here is more important and sometimes maybe you don't use the color you use only the geometry and uh, it's not important uh, to uncheck this but it's more important to control every time if you have a check or a check here you have all aspects for example if you want to create the eor is an index of refraction and it's the effects you can have uh, in all material with the refraction you can control that you have the roughness, you have the anisotropy and the anisotropy direction. 
This is the comportament of your specular effects. Specular, it's the effects of the light you can have here from your element. Every element have, for example, the reflection. Here, have the reflectivity. So I have the reflectivity is one. I see here, I have the effects of my specular effects. Is the point where is my light is arrived is create one point of uh, highlights and is how it's working. Now, if I change, for example, the EOR, it's uh, like it's working the reflection and the refraction because the re it's an index of re refraction, but it's also the effects on the re reflection. If I, for example, 25, I see I have very different effects, okay? It's very big effects of my distribution of my specular effects on all my uh, elements. If I, for example, one, one is the reflection of the higher and the higher is not have the uh, effects of refraction or refraction. It's, uh, it's like the null object, it's not important. Higher is higher. Higher maybe have the effects on another kind of effects, for example, from the pressure, from the water, but it's not on material. Here, I can put, for example, two, and I have another kind of effects, but we can come back to 1.5. 1.5 is the index of refraction, for example, for the glass. You find on the web a list of index of refraction, and you can take for different material, you can take this and put here. Ragness, we can see how it's work is very fast. We have part one, you don't have the ragness, it's like the blur, you can have it, okay, 0 0.1, you have more smallest. And here the anisotropy, it's a part one, is like the directional. You see here, now I can zoom it, but it's like the cross you have here. And here, the directional you can apply, for example, is by part one, and is rotates my directional. You have different effects. For example, this is very comfortable when you work for create the metal effects. Okay, metal material. You have here the different kind. Metallic is the reflection. And obviously with metallic, if I press one, for example, I have more near to metallic effects in the real world. You can see how it's working, it's very, very good. Reflection is the how much is reflected my material. Reflection tint is the color you can apply for your reflection. The coat, coat effects is how much is mixed with another effects, for example. Transparency is work like the reflection. Here I have a transparency is zero, but if I put one, I see my reflection, uh, my transparency, my object is become like glass. But it's not real glass, okay? Also here, there is the effects of the prism. There is some effects inside Udini or inside the computer graphic is, uh, is not working because here is uh, take your geometry like a solid. And so when you apply the glass effects, you see, for example, like the more distort element from the other side. For create the good glass, you need to create the little, the little thickness from your geometry. And here you can also, if I pass one or 0 0.8, and I change, for example, the color to green, to, to yellow, to this, this kind of green, uh, I have these effects again. But usually when you work, it's the best way is work with the, the white. And the white is one, one and one. But uh, in, uh, in the real world, in the natural, is not in the nature, there is not the real one, 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 the real white. The real white is 0 0.9 or 0 0.85, 0 0.85, 0 0.85. This number is not like more program, like for example, Photoshop, where is uh, the color it's uh, with the number 1, 2, 3, 4, 21, 23, etc, etc. For F, this kind of uh, scale is from 0 to 1, for F, the good value, you can take your, for example, uh, calculation, calculator. You need to take your color, for example, the real white is uh, 1, 
3, 0. And you can divide it for 2, 5, 5. Okay? And this is the point. This is 0 0.9 is your color you can apply here. In scale RGB, you can convert to this. Okay? If you want, for example, one gray is 1 for 0, if you divide it with 2, 5, 5, you have 0 0.5, okay? So here you can pass 0 0.5, you have this gray. You can see 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, you have this gray. You can put here, for example, 0 0.9 is changed from everything if it's equals value here. If you change here, it's change everything. You have your uh, real white, okay, you can use it, but usually I prefer use uh, 0 0.8080 or 85, 0 0.85 is very good for me. Subsurface scattering is the effects you can have on, for example, the, the skin, the human skin. Here the sheen and here the emission. The emission also, I don't assign here there is more way for give the emission of color. For example, if I give, uh, for example, white, and I want, you see here, I have a poor white, but I don't have the effects of the light. Also, we can check, we can come back on the object, we can uh, go here, select this and disable, and you see you don't have the effects of the light. Why? Because my diffuse limit is zero. Do you remember when I, we talk about the mantra in the output here? We have the limit. Limit is like, uh, uh, also we can come here, where is rendering, sampling, we can decrease that, okay? Here are the limits. If you have the limit to zero, you don't have the effects of your element. If I, for example, say, hey, give me two, I see here the effects, it started to work. If I, 25 is very, very big, you see here I have the effects. There is another way for create these effects, it's with the light. The light is have the geometry light inside Houdini, you can take the geometry and you can convert the geometry in the light, in the source of light. And then you can also uh, use that, it's very fast. You can come here, for example, from the object. And I can say, here I have a geometry light. And you say, select your geometry. I select my geometry here. And I, I see now, here I have my geometry, is light. If I, for example, 10, you see I have a 10 is by default is uh, take the sphere here and is hide my sphere and also it's uh, take the color you can find here. But uh, you can also assign the material. The material you can assign, for example, from geometry light, you can assign material here and you can choose, for example, my sphere material. And you see up with the material. Or you can also, another way for assign material, we can see, we can come back here, we can delete this. You can jump in the network. Here I have the material SOP and the material SOP. I can connect this here and here I can assign, for example, the material. My sphere. And see now it changes. And now we take all material in this node here, is take this node, is apply this material here. If you apply here, you override your material, okay? For example, principal seder, maybe it's the same, but it's, it's not working now, working. But it's override all material you can find. But usually it's very comfortable in some situation have this because usually it's very comfortable because you can also apply the difference material by group. If I have, for example, the group of geometry, I can say, for example, this face have this material and this face have another kind of material. 
and this is very comfortable. Now, do you see in very fast way you can apply and have the glow effects without working on the diffuse limit? In some cases, diffuse limit is very good, in some cases, it's not good. But uh, you can also normalize your area or not, and then working with that. It depends on what you want to do in this case. We can also see with the example when you work with the rendering, it's very fast to use it and for understand better. 